So we all saw that. Uh, we're just gonna pretend it didn't happen and I'm gonna take care of it afterwards. What is up guys? It is the following day. Last night took such a turn that nobody saw coming. Well, the whole story time will be up tomorrow when you see this. How insane was last night? I felt like I was playing my Grand Theft Auto game it, in real life. I couldn't believe it was all happening and we had like the best view. What? That could have been a good thing. You tell me something good. No, there's no helicopter. We're thinking of TikToks. Today's a TikTok day. We're making a lot of TikToks. <laughs> I say this as a joke, I don't but know. also I've, I've come to really enjoy making TikToks. I am not a dancer and I'm never going to be a TikTok dancer. I cannot dance. So I was like, I don't understand TikTok. This is not my thing. But then I I saw that there were other kind of TikToks and then I realized, oh, maybe like I can find my own little niche on TikTok and it's gonna go well. Now I love TikTok. So we're gonna make some TikToks today and that's our day. I'm gonna make a chai. I've decided chais are my weekend drinks. Regular coffee with some cream. That's my that's my weekday, regular every day. Chais are for special occasions. So for anyone that doesn't know my chai recipe, I have it down to an art. I do half a cup of whatever milk. I'm using cashew right now, but I'll either use almond, oat, cashew, literally anything that is a, not a real milk. Half a cup of that, and then half a cup of the Tazo classic chai latte. You can get this at Target, probably Costco, grocery stores. Half a cup of that. And then I just kind of wing it with the creamer. I use sugar-free French vanilla creamer, and I just kind of you know, you can never have too much creamer in anything, in my personal opinion. And that is how I make my chais on my lid. Every sip of this is a sip of heaven. Also, you put both prints on the wall. I'm not obsessed with them, but you know, they'll do. Here's what they look like. I got them off Etsy. They're okay. Like they're totally fine. I think they're better than just the white, obviously, because that was just an empty frame, but I'm not obsessed. I don't know. I'll have them linked down below in case anyone else likes them and would like them for their home. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't know if I like them for this area. It's kind of what I'm feeling. The size and the frame and everything is perfect. It's just the prints inside. I don't really know. Anyways, I'm going to take some time this morning on my computer. I'm put this back in its spot. Okay. There you go, Katan. This is so cute. <laughs> yeah, just gonna get a little bit of work done for the morning because I don't think we'll be doing anything once the mimosas arrive. Also, I am obsessed with these cups I got from Amazon. I saw them on Caitlyn's stories and I had to buy them for myself. So I got these separately, like the cup and the lid. Here's the lid, so freaking cute. Comes with straws and the mason jar itself. I'll have both linked down below. I think it's amazing. We're making eggs. Taylor's really delicious. And we have mimosas. Yum! We have eggs, scrambled eggs with cheese. Paige's done a great job on the dishes and also while I was cooking them, I reorganized the fridge, which looks much cleaner than it was, which feels good. Things are going well. Yum, 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 yum. Here's my little bowl of eggs this morning. I have some avocado on top. It doesn't look all that appetizing because it was getting a little brown. And then I drizzled on some truff hot Oh no, okay. This hot sauce is so good. They sent this to me. They have the hot sauce and then they have the hotter sauce. I haven't tried this one yet, but holy crap. I tried this for the first time last night with my pizza. We had pizza last night. And holy crap, so good. So I put it on my eggs. It's like, it's just truffle hot sauce. There's everything I could ever ask for. Black truffle infused. Are you gonna put anything on your eggs? It's the move. Cayenne? Who's surprised? Not me. Also, so we're having mimosas and we decided to make the mimosas with sunny, D, this was everything in my childhood, like everything. So very excited to have this in my home now. And I'm pretty sure we didn't have it in Canada. I'm pretty sure like we only got to drink it when we went to Florida to visit my grandparents. And so it's just like a crazy thing to me, which is very weird. It's just Sunny D. Hey Tay, out of 10, how homeless do you think I look right now? 11. 11? Huh? That feels right to me. <laughs> like pretty homeless. Your socks. That you wore outside. It's a little Not even homeless. homeless. It just looks like you got dressed by grabbing the first thing of everything you could find. First socks you found, first pants you found, first top you found. This is true. Saturday. And every day. Let's be real. All right, guys. It is now just about 4 o'clock, which is insane. I can't believe it's 4 p.m. Can you believe it's 4 p.m.? Uh, no. The day just kind of flew by. We were doing all our TikToks and they're so fun. I'm having my TikTok linked down below. Go follow me. It's so good. Oh shit, this is flashing battery crap. Anyways, we decided we're gonna go for a drive through the mountains by the beach, everything like that. Just kind of enjoy the beautiful weather and hopefully stop somewhere for sunset, either the beach or some like cool mountaintop view. I don't know. Okay, so we're in this part of 
I don't know the mountains. It's Topanga called Topanga Canyon. Canyon. We always drive by this, and there's this little spot that's called Hidden Treasures. It looks crazy, so we just pulled over and parked, and we're gonna go check it out for the first time after like driving by it many, many times. Very intrigued, but I'm leaving the camera in the car just because it looks like a spot where you walk in. They're like, oh no, filming. So I'm just gonna vlog on my phone, but it looks super cool. I'm very excited. Yay! This guy's great too. This is so interesting. Just like in the middle of nowhere. And then just right down the road from Malibu. What do you think of this one? Is this for me? It's like 1950s, 1960s. Oh, that's so, so that cool. Oh, that's creepy. Oh my god, look up here. There's a. Wow. There are so many rooms in here, like, it just keeps going. Look at this. What? So sick. There's just so much, like, stuff everywhere. You having fun? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> This is so interesting. Okay, so we, we went where the wind and the road took us, and look what happened. Yes, okay, Don't so. Don't always have to plan your Saturdays, people. Life lesson from an old wise man. Oh, my old wise man. Oh. For all my yams out there, just okay. follow the road. Uh, anyways, we found this cute little, like, wine and cheese place that looked so cute. It's called the Canyon Bistro. We're just gonna go get, like, an appetizer and some wine. So fun, we'll get like one glass because obviously we drove here and we're not that close to home. One bottle, two bottle, three <sighs> bottle, four. Canyon Bistro, it's just so cute. Okay, so we're gonna get this French Brie and crackers and then some kind of glass of wine. But this is so cute. We got the heaters, adorable, in the mountains. Wow. Oh my goodness, cheers. This is so freaking cute. We got French Brie with all of this. I'm so excited. That is a thick thing of Brie. Did you just eat an olive? Yes. How good was that Brie? Uh, it was so good. Uh. Oh. Work on our Brie puns. <laughs> I gotta eat more cheese, I guess, to come up with more puns. Apparently. Look how cute this is though. You can see the sun is setting right now. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, we just left. It was this tiny little spot over here. So cute. And like, we're literally in this super small town in the mountains like literally in the mountains and i stole a menu no he didn't he just found a little magazine for me on a stand that was had free stuff he likes to make himself look bad sorry i stepped on you look at this though so cool Watch we're up. literally in the canyon we're for sure gonna come back here we sit at the table we're like we're definitely gonna come back at least once a month and get the brie and the wine we're also gonna come for dinner because the menu does look really yeah, good everything. just way too early for dinner good morning vlog how is it going it is Tuesday, 11.26. I've been very busy this morning and I'm finally taking a break to eat some food because I'm freaking starving. So I have some egg veggie fried rice. I'm gonna eat that. It's the leftover from yesterday. I had a whole plan for what I wanted to cook for lunch, but I am just too hungry. I just need the leftovers. So I'm gonna eat that. And then I am going to actually kind of like milk prep for the rest of the week because I have a bunch of veggies that I want to cook. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Yum. Oh, I'm so excited. Throw a little spicy mayo on there. Oh, baby. Yes. So today is Tuesday and Jill and I usually do our work days on Tuesdays, but she actually went into her office today. So we are not meeting up. So I'm still gonna try and go to a coffee shop just to get out for the day. Otherwise it'll be a long week in. <laughs> Mm. Actually, tomorrow I'm getting my hair dyed. I'm getting it dyed. I have quite crazy roots right now. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but it's not good. Mm. Mm. I don't get like sushi and fried rice nearly enough. It's so good. Okay, let me just go sit down. So yeah, tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. You can see like my roots. I don't know if you can see the line. I think it's quite obvious, but my mother said it wasn't so bad. But you can see it's like a straight line and I hate that look. I really hate when it grows out like this. So I'm actually going to a new salon. I'm going to the salon that the Fabletics event was at. The guy that did my hair made me look so cute. And I followed him on Instagram and he offered to do my hair. So I'm gonna go try out that salon it's in santa monica and it's so cute and like one block from the beach so i might go to the beach afterwards and just like sit there for a minute we will see but i'm really really excited i'll probably go a little bit lighter just for fun you know we're working into spring here also i am legit addicted to tiktok like i'm obsessed with it it's so much fun i love making the videos <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm obsessed. And one of my TikToks appears to be taking off right now, which is so exciting. So I highly recommend you follow me on TikTok. Once you kind of commit to the TikTok life, it's not as bad as it seems. It's like pretty okay. It's just a regular app. And I think everyone just needs to accept it as part of our regular life now. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna order some inventory for the store, which is going to take a while because I have to find the stuff. And then I'm gonna try to head out. Okay, we have been working. It is 12.15. I'm going to preheat the oven, get back to work. And then once it beeps, we will continue making 
making our food. I'm going to set my oven to 375. I got a bunch of veggies to cook up in the oven. It's gonna be so good. And then just like add with rice. It's so easy and delicious. But we will do that when that beeps. Okay, it is time to make our food. So let's see what we're working with here. We have Brussels sprouts, kale. I actually really enjoy kale. People kind of make fun of it and like think it's disgusting, but I think it's quite good. We have some broccoli and cauliflower saute kit. That's about it, I think. And then we'll sprinkle on some garlic. I think that is all the veggies we're working with. Yes. This should be, you know, fairly simple. We got our tray, tin foil. Oh my God, it's everywhere. So we all saw that. Uh, we're just gonna pretend it didn't happen and I'm gonna take care of it afterwards. That is a lot of broccoli and cauliflower. Maybe I need two trays. Okay, right, so we're gonna do a two tray situation. So we have our broccoli and cauliflower on here. I can't believe it's everywhere. And I just vacuumed two. Now we're just gonna throw on some olive oil all over that. I'm going to take my minced garlic and throw that in as well. Yummy. Then I'm just gonna season with salt and pepper. And pepper. And then a little bit of curry powder just cause I really enjoy that. And then I'm just going to mix it with my hands, get everything coated. Tray number one. And now we'll do tray number two. So the other one will have the Brussels sprouts and the kale. With the Brussels sprouts, I'm actually just gonna cut them in half. Tray number two, more tin foil. And we have our Brussels sprouts. So now we are just going to put some kale in there. And then we're just gonna do the exact same thing with the olive oil. Oh no. <laughs> Garlic. That might have been a lot. <laughs> and salt and pepper. And then we'll just mix her up and throw it in. I've actually never baked kale before, so I don't really know how this is gonna go. But we will find out together. Throw it in. Wow, look at all of the greens. Okay, set another 20 minute timer. Second timer. So I set 20 minutes just to like check it, but it should be done around 30, 35 minutes. Obviously that depends on you know how crispy you like your stuff, but I like my Brussels sprouts nice and crispy. So it is 1.30 now. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go to my coffee shop. So while I wait, I will be here working. Let's get it. Oh, it smells so good. Alexa, stop. Let's see how it's looking. Ooh, crispy. Hello. Okay, these I think are Good. Oh my god, yum. And these, I'm going to kind of move around a little bit. Wow, yum. Oops. Maybe I'll do the same with these. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in for another like five, ten minutes, and then this will go in for another 10, 15. Set 10 minute time. So I grabbed a little crispy bit of kale. Mmm. I'm about it. That was good. Okay, I'm back upstairs. I'm gonna make some rice. This is my favorite rice. It's right rice, made from vegetables. And we have a nice green yummy bowl. I'm so excited to eat this, this is gonna be so good. And then we have more over here that I shall eat at another time. I love the days that I do this and just like make tons of the food that I'm gonna eat because then I can just like grab and go. If I'm really hungry like I was today, I can just grab it and go back to work upstairs instead of having to like cook and stuff because that just takes time. And I've just like had no time in the last couple weeks. I don't expect to gain more time, so maybe I'll try to do this every Monday, so I can have my lunches already prepared for the week. It just makes things so much easier. So I'm gonna put these away and then we shall eat. Love it. It's also really fast to do that. It only takes like an hour, so. Yeah, fast and easy and you get yummy food. Lots of veggies, lots of healthy. And of course I'm going to throw on something that is not healthy. Actually, it's probably not so bad. I don't know. Vegan ranch, I'll probably add to it. Let's try that. We'll just go for it. It can't be bad. Once I'm done eating this, I'm gonna go over to, I think I'm gonna do coffee bean. I was debating between blue bottle or coffee bean, but I am leaning towards coffee bean just cause I'm like craving their matcha. It's very different than the one at blue bottle. It tastes like a milkshake, honestly, but you know. Mmm. I don't think I would do the vegan ranch again just cause it tastes like very dilly, but overall this is still really yummy. Mmm. Maybe I'm just so used to my regular ranch that this one is confusing me. I don't know. Still yummy. Still gonna eat it. Okie dokes. I am heading out. Finally, I feel like I've been inside for days. Actually, I have been. So this is gonna feel really good to like be out in the world again.
7.30, I got back here around two hours ago, like 5.30 when it was getting dark outside. So I spent the entire day at Coffee Bean. Taylor is here now. There he is. What are you looking for? I just stopped working only because Taylor got here. Otherwise, I would have kept working for like another two hours. Anyways, we are making ramen for dinner. I'm very excited. And because I get so many requests for the recipe, I've never done this before, but I did a recipe blog post, which I will post Babe, this goes live, aka tomorrow. So, if you wanna know how to make our ramen, I'm gonna have a link down below to my blog where I share the recipe. The first time we ever made it, we kind of just like combined a bunch of stuff. We we had like a general outline of what we were gonna do from other recipes that we had seen, and then we just started kind of throwing ingredients in and seeing how it tasted. I think we landed at something really yummy, so I'm excited to eat it. It's always reliable and delicious. But yeah, we're gonna make our ramen. Have a nice, relaxing evening. All right, we have our broth, we have some tofu, and we have our noodles, and it's gonna be a good night. So we're gonna make our bowls, and we are going to dig in. I am so excited, it looks so good. And tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, so say goodbye to these ugly roots. I don't know if you've noticed that they're there, but I have noticed, and I don't like them at all. So I'm really excited to get my hair done tomorrow, and I will see you guys in the next vlog, which will be on Friday. Yes, Friday.